And now I'd like to be able to take and share with you just a brief family chat, some important information for the entire Hope family. Since we started as a church six years ago, we have had four pillars that have really defined who we are as a church. Well, the four pillars have been replaced. We haven't gotten rid of them, but we've rolled them into the six distinctives that go along with the Great Commission Collective, the network of churches that we are a part of. The first one, bold preaching. Second one, purposeful discipleship. Third one, fervent prayer. You see the icons on the bottom there. Passionate worship and courageous evangelism and strategic church planting. We're excited about this and you can find a full description on our website. Also, as you know, our building office search team has been working for months to find a place for us as a church, as our time at First Mennonite is now on a month-to-month -month basis. I would ask you to be in prayer in the next few weeks in a very important area. Lord willing, this week we will send a letter of intent on a building that we believe would suit us really well as a church. At this point, there's no financial offer that's being made, just an intent to to a letter of intent to enter into a very serious conversation. So please pray for favor, direction uh, in this area, that God would lead us as a church to the right place for us to have a central hub, office, meeting place for us as a church. And now I'd like to just briefly talk about elders, a brief elder update. We hope we had hoped Kelowna take the appointment and the office of church elders very seriously. And why do we do this? Because God's Word does. For the last few months, Les Messenbrink has been sitting with the elders at Hope as a friend and like an advisor to our elders board. And together we are praying and discerning where this will go. So would you be praying for Les and Marla, as well as for the elders of our church about this very important office in the church? Now, my last update um, <clears throat> has to do a little bit with COVID-19. COVID-19 has caused us to rapidly change how we do church. So much has happened in the last six months, and we are so thankful for how God has been leading and providing for us as a church. COVID and the various restrictions has caused us to accelerate a direction that we were seeing God leading us towards even up to a few years back. And, and that has been about being one church with multiple gatherings. On October, 18th, October 17th will be our next multiple gathering Sunday, and then Lord willing, from November 1st right up until Christmas, we will meet every Sunday. Now, we are praying uh, that in these months that we just wouldn't show up and go to church, but the, these months there would be a strong missional, great commission impact for Christ. That these aren't just, once again, places where we show up to go to church, during COVID, but places where we can roll up our sleeves in prayer, in serving, and together believe God to do a great work in transforming people in these communities, as well as seeing them disciples, discipled as well as God doing a work in our lives. Today at our in-person gatherings, there was a card on your seat. It can be found on, it can also be found on our online connection card. And we are asking for many, if not all of you, to commit to being part of one of these core teams for these locations. Now, this doesn't mean that you can't go from time to time and visit uh, one of the other locations and, and see your friends and uh, church folks there. But we are looking for people to put some skin in the game and commit to serve at these multiple gathering places. Um, in the area of a prayer team, in welcoming, in registration, in setup, in tech, in ushering, in cleaning between services, in community care and impact teams. Some of you, this might mean you may even drive past one location in order to get to the other one, to be uh, committed to a location where you believe God is calling you and your family to serve. Some of you just might put, hey, I'm willing to serve wherever it's most needed. You can mark that as well. Let's be in prayer for this. But let's also commit to action in this exciting endeavor for Hope Kelowna. The mission of the church can continue to march on and we are trusting God to continue to keep working in our lives and working in our church during this time.